you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your dick, uh, go for it. Do you see the anger? Do you see that? Triggered immediately. Well, F you then. Just go overseas. We don't need you. Whatever. Bye, loser. What are you? 30 plus. No ring. No prospects for children. No man. No husband. No nothing. Why he gotta go all the way over there? Because he went around the corner and that did not work. Us women have to stop being so difficult and understand what it is that we actually want because obviously the men that we want are approaching us and we feel that that's not the right person for us. That sounds so confusing even explaining that. Mad because he's not wearing the type of clothes that you'd rather him put on. When clothes could change and you could help him change that but going to the mall. Remember the song by Beyonce, Upgrade You? Try it. I don't think he would mind if you try to give him a little oomph to his clothes. It's just clothes. Those little things do not matter. What matters is if those characteristics that the man has will last a lifetime of happiness, a lifetime of someone who has your back, a lifetime of honesty and respect, and for us, a lifetime of protection. To say the least, those clothes are not going to protect you at all, sis. So if you're not willing to understand that, then let these men go. You act like he's going over there to find a man. It's she's not younger than me. She's not skinnier than me. And she's not prettier than me. Then why couldn't it just be me? Well, she's softer than you. She's quieter than you. She doesn't yell at me. Call me an idiot or tell me to shut up all the time. She listens to me. She's nice to me. She doesn't make me feel like the only thing stopping her from being happy is me. It's now common information that Western men are looking for submissive and more feminine women in the East. Is this due to the fact that more and more American women are seeking out stereotypical bad boys to fill the gaps left by American men? Is white women's interest in interracial adult entertainment real, or just a made-up myth? Also, does explicit information mislead men or women in its intended direction? I contend that Western men favor subservient women. If my estimation is accurate, however, American women are now drawn to more dominating alpha guys. As women never want to accept or admit their truth on their own, it's always amusing to expose them to it. Now, men are traveling to the East in pursuit of attractive women. I deserve to have a traditional wife. They want to go be a passport, bro. And I'm like, bro, you're fat, you're broke, you don't deserve a traditional wife. You need to level up. The same way they want a traditional girl. The girl, she's going to be way more traditional back in my country. So trust me, she's not marrying you for love, she's marrying you for your green card. So. Are you against passport bros or? I understand the fundamentals of it for those who have done everything in life to make sure they are a man. But if you're not a man, I don't think you deserve that, honestly. If you don't have your life together, what makes you think you know how to appreciate a like, traditional wife? Uh if some other guy who's living here who's never had an idea of what a male figure is in his life, he's going based off of whatever little content he picks from the internet. He's like, well, I want a traditional wife. But therefore, he doesn't even have like a credit score. He doesn't even have like his, his life in check. He's still driving the hoopty from high school. But you want a traditional girl. Like what happens when you bring that girl over here? You're gonna basically make her a Western woman and she's gonna realize like this guy really doesn't have his shit together. Now she's gonna cheat on you. Bear in mind that Thailand has very few obese women. Even ladyboys are prettier than Western women. You should now have all the information you require. Women will find such men attractive because even a partially feminized male from the West will likely appear more manly than many Asian men there. It's easy to understand why guys visit these locations when you take into account their financial situation and resources. I think there's definitely this kind of romanticized view. Lonely guys maybe aren't having the best time dating in the U.S., you know, thinking I can just go abroad and you know there's just gonna be a woman there waiting for me and like my personal take on the whole the men that, that want to be passport bros so badly where they're like you know all the women here like they're not traditional all of that um you know, think they can just fly to another country and there's gonna be a woman waiting for them to clean their house that like <laughs> has no skill life skill maybe it's usually women who are like no don't be passport bros you're trying to take advantage of the women that live in these countries who don't know any better and me as a black man uh, i'm interested in technology mm -hmm and culture, and I also like Japanese women. Does that make you feel happy? happy? Okay, why does it make you feel happy? So a black man likes Japanese women, why does it make you feel happy, Nande? The reality is that Western men and women are more desirable around the world, not only because of the better economic conditions that they live in, but also because of the color of their skin which is more desirable in most parts of the globe. From Africa to Southeast Asia and the Middle East, men and women desire Western men and women because white skin is prized above brown or black skin. Is this racist though? 
In theory, yes. But you can't blame either side because part of the reason this is, is our history, and especially popular culture and media narratives, which have always shown white people to be heroes, and people from other cultures, countries, and backgrounds to be villains. This is one of the best examples of how media can brainwash large numbers of populations around the world. It's also important to note that a successful Western woman in her mid-30s might have more value in her country than she would in another. An average-looking woman in her early 20s will have a much higher value in a country like Africa or the Middle East than in her own country where she's only average. It is also true that Eastern women are looking to date Western men. I recently read about Thai women who believe that the more Western guys they date, the greater the likelihood that they will become romantically linked with them and eventually emigrate to the United States, the United Kingdom, or Canada with them. Strangely enough, when such women travel to a Western nation, they only become aware of the different game that is being played there. When they notice that Western women are not subservient, they often feel pressure from their peers to emulate them, which is why their white Western boyfriends decide to break up with them. Don't let these Western women influence you or discourage you if you want to go overseas and get a good woman. I know a couple of good honest men that were tired of being single and invisible to most women, so they decided to find someone abroad. Now they're happily married, while some of these Chad dating women are single with kids. The sad thing is, they don't realize that their kids growing up fatherless makes a big impact on their life. The truth is that American men are happy in the Philippines and other countries because they can have meaningful relationships without spending so much money. They can simply enjoy exploring the countryside and beautiful beaches together without money being the center of everything. They can immerse in the hospitable locals and try new things. Life is way so less stressful compared to living in the US. So it's no wonder Passport Brothers is a booming trend. Part of the problem at the root of it is that a lot of females in America have become masculine in one way or another. It is actually at the point where we men would rather spend 15 hours on a flight over the Pacific Ocean than deal with all the probabilities that most females in America ensue. All of us men who work for a living just want to be appreciated at the end of the day and nothing more. Apparently that is too much to ask for in this day and age when most young females in America grew up without a father. A lot of women in the Philippines, especially from the South, are really looking forward to marrying Western men. It doesn't matter whether they are handsome, young, old, senior citizens, rich or poor, as long as they are foreigners. Marrying a foreigner is like winning a trophy that you can parade in your town, which sadly becomes a part of our culture. It's laughable for that woman to say men should find someone on their own economical level. In my entire life, I can count on one hand the number of women I have personally known that was happily married to a man making less than them. They all demand a six or seven figure man while living with their mommy and having to ride the city bus because their McDonald's part-time job doesn't pay enough for them to afford a used car. So yes, Americans should be worried that men from the US are finding women outside of the country while foreign men aren't coming here for them. And the fact that a man that can afford to travel and meet women abroad is at the bottom of the barrel and tells me they are more bothered by this than they care to admit, especially when the women complaining about this are objectively a four out of 10 at most. Women need to understand that in their most fundamental form, men just want to feel appreciated. That's what they're getting in other countries now. There is now completely zero appreciation for men in the West. Western women believe they are entitled to a certain level of consideration simply because they are female. I can't remember the last time I did something good for a woman and she thanked me for it. My advice to men has always been to follow their own paths. He doesn't respect nor love you for being yourself and just thinks about herself and how you can benefit her. Women need to relearn that relationships are two-way streets. It should be both of you improving one another and making your collective life easier and better. And they should also learn to stick with it when times get tough and not immediately dip. The hypocrisy is unbelievable. When it's the women going overseas for a quick fling with a guy in a bad economic situation and then dipping there isn't a peep. But when men are going overseas to actually find someone to start a hopefully lasting family, all hell breaks loose. The irony of Western women thinking that being submissive means being a slave, when in fact, women in Asia have more power in the household. It is common in single-income households in places like Japan and the Philippines, where the husband works while his paycheck goes to his wife for budgeting for household expenses. He only gets a fraction of his paycheck as an allowance from the household budget. I've heard too many men pursue women and end up wasting so much time, 
that they could have given to someone that really deserved it. Western society has male and female roles all messed up. A Western woman for no good reason believes that staying at being, being a homemaker, a care provider, and a nurturer for her husband and family, and doing it as a duty to them, is somehow her being oppressed. I believe the blame for that goes to feminism, or the extreme forms of it which want women to take over men's roles in society. Being feminine, nurturing, and taking care of their husbands and kids is not because they're being manipulated or taken advantage of. That is what women should be. To be feminine and nurturing, taking care of their family while the husband protects, leads, and provides. I just have a message for all the people who are coming here to find a partner. There is just one thing that I want to emphasize. Do not bring your dating habits or culture to the Philippines, because you will be influencing and teaching women here to be women you are running from in the West. All people want to do nowadays is meet up and have meaningless intimacy, and there's no concept of courtship. Hookup culture has become very toxic, because hookup culture benefits guys more than it will ever help girls. Guys mainly just want physical intimacy, they rarely want commitment, but will do practically anything to get laid. Are we done pretending like that's empowering or even healthy just like the hookup culture? Thanks for watching Man Reacts. Show us your love and support by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to the channel. Support us and help us spread support for men around the world. Do comment and share your thoughts. We're always up for a healthy debate and discussion.